Welcome to another episode of Future Focus. I'm Aaron Vickers and pleased to be joined today by one of the top European prospects for the 2021 NHL draft, top finish prospect for the 2021 NHL draft, Atu Ratu. Atu, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. It's been an interesting year, I guess, so to speak, for any NHL draft eligible, you included, uh, dealing with stops and starts, dealing with leagues stopping, leagues going again. Obviously, there's the COVID impact on it all, just to, to top everything all, top it all. I guess for you, how do you characterize your season this far and the way that it's trending? Uh, it's been a tough season for me. Uh, didn't start so well, well in the men's league. Uh, played a few games in the junior league, didn't make the under-20 World Championships roster, but uh, now I uh, was injured for like a few weeks. And then now for, for like the last two or three weeks, I've, my game is, my game's been going well and uh, I'm feeling great. Yeah, you mentioned some of those ups and downs. Uh, you've always been the youngest player on any team you've played on. That's not a secret, whether it's been at the junior level, whether it's at the men's level, whether it's at the international level. Is there a pressure or a challenge in always being the youngest player on your team to fight for the opportunities, to fight for the ice time, to get the opportunity to showcase what you can do and help your team win? What's the challenge or the pressure in always being the youngest guy on a team when you're trying to make your mark? I mean, I, I don't really think there's that much pressure because you can you can always be like, you know, I'm, I'm so much younger and, uh, and like I, I could play in the like younger younger teams and stuff like that so it's not the pressure but it's definitely hard to get playing time uh, you know in, in junior teams there are the guys who've been playing the league for two or three years and you know the coach has a relationship already with them so it's tougher and then in the men's league you know we have some guys who have who have played in the NHL and stuff like that so those are pretty pretty hard guys to uh fight fight for minutes with but um I mean it I think uh that's what I, uh, has made, made me a better player and stuff like that. So, You mentioned some of the, the lower points of the season, the injury, the not making the world junior team. How difficult was that? How disappointing was that, knowing that you were the youngest player in the tournament the, the season before? Uh, well, it wasn't that bad. I, I kind of knew like months, months before the tournament that I wasn't going to make the roster. So I was like well prepared, but... But of course, I definitely would have liked to to uh, play there, and that would have been a great opportunity to to uh, show myself. But that's okay. How do you take that disappointment? You mentioned you had a lot of time to process the situation and and sort of learn how to take that disappointment and channel it into something positive. You mentioned over the course of the last couple of weeks, and and really from January on, where your game trending upward, is that an event that you can use to rally it, or how do you sort of attribute? Um, the turnaround in your game of late? Uh, I mean, I guess so. Uh, hmm, how do I put it? Uh, I mean, of course, it's uh, it motivated me more to... Uh, for me, I think I have a, a great, great work ethic. So not, not about just working more because it would be too much. I, I work the perfect amount, but, you know, just... Uh, you know, every day when I when I arrive to the rink, I'm like, yeah, it's a good good day to be better, and I want to work my hardest, hardest. But I think uh, not making the team was a little more 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 in that department to uh, work even even harder and smarter. You've been a known commodity. You've been followed for the last two three seasons. Again, just being the youngest player playing U18, U20 in, in, in Liga. How do you personally characterize that scrutiny of and the pressure that comes with always being in the spotlight? Uh, hard to say. I, I don't really feel any any pressure on myself. There's uh, really not that much much media media in Finland, and it's it's pretty easy. But uh, of course, you you just want to uh, show everybody who's watching you or maybe maybe only you in the game and and for those people that i'm a great player and stuff like that but um i don't feel any any pressure the draft is always a, a big event especially here in north america there's always rankings coming out there's always speculation there's always talk does that make its way back to you and how do you cope with some of the extracurricular things that come with being in your draft year 
well, I, I don't, I don't really care. I, I'm not, I'm not pressured by the, by the draft, but definitely more, more stuff to handle, more, more interviews, more, uh, you know, NHL teams contacting me and, you know, me doing interviews for them. So much more, much more, uh, media to worry about, but nothing, nothing else. Surely you would know that you were considered uh, as recently as six months ago as the potential top pick in the 2021 draft. Is there pressure in that being the guy that's expected to be number? And we've had not like distinct number one picks for so long this year, it's completely wide open, but it, was there pressure or maybe a, a, I guess a sense of pride, even if you want to look at it that way in being considered a potential number one? Uh, well, no, not not really. Uh, especially when I I don't really know know the the other prospects or don't I I don't think I play I never played against any of any of those guys. So I I really don't know them. So there's not much competition there. So I can't play against them. I can't watch their games really. So, you know. From your perspective, how do you evaluate your development over the course of the last even 365 days, or if you want to even extend it further, the last year and a half? What what are you proud of in terms of the steps you've taken, and where do you feel like you still have more to give as a hockey player? Uh, I think I'm I'm uh, I've improved in 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 the mental stuff definitely for in the, in the last year, and then then with the hockey stuff i think my skating has has been better lately and uh physicality and two-way game but those are still the still the things that i'm i'm working on you mentioned we talked a little bit about the draft and how you're, you're pretty good at just leaving all that stuff at the door when you come into the hockey ring not getting caught up with the extracurriculars but have you taken the opportunity and obviously this year is going to be very unique very different as it was in in 2020 just last october but have you stopped to look at what your draft day might look like? No, 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 not at all. I, I've, I've even heard uh, some, some things that there's going to be like a, our draft and then the next right, right next to and and stuff like that. But but no, I it's I feel like it's what is it, like eight eight months to the draft or something. I don't even know when it when it's going to be. So I don't really think about it. I'm just trying to be. The, the best version of, my, of myself and do, do the work every day, but uh, I don't really think about the draft. Yeah, there's a lot of different scenarios, I guess, if you will, uh, out there right now in terms of the draft where it's currently scheduled for July 23rd and 24th. Like you mentioned, I've heard that they'll push it back at, even to December. I've heard that they'll push it back a full year and do 2021 one weekend and do 2022 the next weekend. I guess we're living over the course of the last year almost now in, in a state of uncertainty. So is this just another thing you, you look at and you go out of my control, I'm going to forget it. And let's just focus on the 60 minutes that I play every single time I'm out on the ice. Definitely. Your brother obviously has had, will have had a very different draft experience, obviously getting selected in 2019 by the Arizona Coyotes in the fifth round. What do you remember from his draft day? And is it easier going through yours, having witnessed the stuff that he went through, not only on his draft day, but throughout his draft year? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, he was, he was actually sleeping when he, he got drafted. It was so late, so late at night. I was, I was still awake and then, uh, it was either me or, or a phone call from, from the Coyotes that woke him up. But definitely helps. I mean, hearing from the, uh, the, the camp that he, ha he had, he was there for like two weeks. And, you know, saying that every, everything was easy. You know, he, he played well against those guys. He, he had fun. So that's definitely like uh, helps me, you know, being, being relaxed and stuff like that. Does his experience and his confidence and just his general guidance give you an edge? Or do you feel like you're further along in who you are as both a hockey player and a person just having his influence and seeing what he's gone through? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Atu, thank you so much for your time. Good luck the rest of the season and good luck in the 2021 NHL draft. Thank you. Appreciate it.